good morning, good afternoon, good night. Whatever time you're watching this video, thank you for watching Common Sense Talks. I really appreciate all the likes, views, and subscribes. Don't forget, we had that 100 uh, sub giveaway, which I will be announcing the winners after this weekend. And we have another 500 and 1,000 sub giveaway. Today's video, I want to announce that I just bought a used Nitro 2005 bass boat. I've got some uh, fixing ups I gotta do to upgrade the trolling motor and the fish finders, but we will be taking it out, getting on some fish and having an excellent time. And so tag your friends, let everybody know, awesome fishing content, plus don't forget collectibles, news, all the cool stuff, football, sports, you know, we're gonna get into it all. So, but today's video is gonna be a fishing video. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna be out in the Sierra Nevada lakes, uh, mainly McClure. We're gonna go out there looking for some donks, gonna be throwing some swim baits. It's mid-January, overcast, a little bit windy. So we're looking to really get into some monster bass, setting up for pre-spawn, eating them trout and other smaller fish. And, uh, you know, I look forward to cracking some monsters. And if not, always just drop that drop shot down onto those schooling bass on the main lake points, catch one to three pounders all day. So look forward to having some fun. We'll see you as always on the next fish. And thank you for watching Common Sense Talks. Bye. All right, guys, good morning. We're finally about to take off fishing in the boat for the first time. Here it is right here, a Nitro 700 LX 2005, that's my house. We're about to head out to the lake, I'll show you guys, uh, that's my work van over there. I just got this, so I also do HVAC videos, just started my own HVAC company, and here's my new work van that I got for myself so BAM we'll be seeing you on some HVAC videos fixing some heaters air conditioners making some money this year looking forward to that and uh, let's go get some bass I'll see you guys at the lake hi right, guys welcome to beautiful Lake McClure there's the boat right there we're about to go ahead and hit basically my first plan is to go hit the dam with uh or the dam area with some deep diving crankbaits s waiver swim baits maybe a jig if that doesn't work i'm gonna head to a couple of main lake points that i know and we might have to drop shot we'll figure them out today but again as always i'll see you on the first fish Probably a little guy came out of hella deep. Hella deep, I'll tell you what. I think 70. Yeah, look at the fish finder 70. Bam! Oh, look at that belly on that fucker. Look at that. 70 feet deep, guys. toad not really but look at that belly though man it's a nice belly it's a chunk spot <laughs> big old fat belly they're getting ready look at that they are stocking up beautiful lake mcclure as always thank you for watching common sense talks we'll see you on the next fish Got a fish here. Oh, just came off right there at the boat. Oh well, little guy. So it's been a little tough. We've been getting blown around. 43 pound thrust motor or a trolling motor, so wind's a little tricky. What's up, Mike?
Please don't lose this one. He looks like he's trying to come up to jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. This one came out of deep. Don't think it's a big one. It just looks like it wants to jump. I don't want to lose it. I knew it was going to jump. And boom. Put him in the net. <laughs> there we go. Get over here, fool. Two pound spot pound and three quarters to two pound spot nice <sighs> looks like i'm on the school i need to be on oh, awesome all right guys uh -uh. Woo thanks for watching common sense talks we've got ourselves a nice little chunky fat spot here having fun out at lake mcclure so thanks for watching common sense talks and as always we'll catch you on the next fish <laughs> this guy's a little one but i am on the right spot for sure as far as i'm catching fish woohoo this guy would have almost popped out look at that it's a nice jump and he would have been off. Looked like he wanted to jump. Alright. Look at how far I am from shore. <laughs> and uh, we're in the 60 to 80 range. So again, thank you for watching Common Sense Talks. I'll catch you on the next fish. 70 feet deep again. Fish are holding really deep. He's coming up for a jump. Oh, boom! Yeah, baby. This time, this one was 70. Actually, 72. Right here. <clears throat> so, I guess the key right now seems to be between 60 and 70 feet deep. I'm wondering if I threw a swim bait down there, if I'd get this three to five spotted pound you know three to five pound spotted bass because there's a shit ton of fish off this point there's got to be some bigger ones but uh again we're having a great time i've got on the fish now dialed them in i'm on the pattern and uh we're gonna have a great time as always we'll see you on the next fish thanks for watching common sense talks oh all right let's get on them from way deep <laughs> we need to get on to some bigger fish i'm going to upgrade my worm and head to the seven inch we're getting some fish here i'm going to throw a bigger one before this guy bleeds all over my boat let's get him out of here so thanks for watching common sense talks out here at lake mcclure just having a great time getting on them 60 to 80 feet deep that storm system that came in really shoved them off so now that i know where they're at i'm getting them so all right guys we'll catch you on the next fish all right guys thanks for watching common sense talks i hope you had a great time following along with me on the lake so here's how the adventure went i got out on the lake pretty early as you guys can see I'm under the weather. I'm not feeling too great right now. I've been sick for about two days. So the first hour or two, um, honestly, I was running around the lake looking for the bathroom. <laughs> Once I was in my boat because they have a floating uh, restroom there. And it was actually at Barrett's Cove. So which was where I was going to go to use the restroom if I couldn't find the floating one. So, <laughs> so I had to take care of that. And then uh, the first probably hour or two of fishing because i was driving the boat you know dialing it in kind of getting the feel for it checking everything making sure it wasn't taking on any water making sure it drove good uh playing with the trolling motor all that good stuff checking out the fish finder and then obviously hunting down the bathroom and uh once i was uh out there on the lake actually fishing i'd say about two hours I went without a fish. I did get about three bites and I dumped one. Um, but I just, 
I, I couldn't find them at first. I was fishing anywhere from the shore all the way back to about 45, 50 feet deep. And I just realized, you know, hey, we were catching them and other guys were catching them 40 to 50 feet deep a week ago. And there was a nasty storm front that came in. So I went ahead and checked in the 60 to 80 range and that's actually where they're at right now. They're sitting off the main lake Main lake points, 60 to 80 feet deep, dropping down on them with the drop shot and then nailing them. I'm sure it could have probably thrown an underspin or something else for some much bigger fish, but you live and you learn. So that was just my first trip in the boat. Hope you guys enjoyed, but we're going to have lots of more cool fishing videos and all kinds of other videos for you guys. So stay tuned. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.